Now this is the famous Ingersoll SC71 night latch. Seen from the inside. The door closes, this engages in the frame and throws the bolt out. This is the cylinder with the optional cylinder pull. Uh, we choose to install the multi lock cylinder rather than the Ingersoll cylinder that the lock is normally supplied with because the keys are quite easily obtainable for the Ingersoll now these days but the multi-lock is still highly restricted that's the key going in and opening the door this is how you deadlock the door insert the key full 360 degree turn remove the key it's now completely deadlocked even from the inside you won't be able to open it and there's the key removal Key is supplied with a registration card and two keys are included in the price that you see on the website. This control here puts the lock into the latched position so that you can close the door and it won't actually lock as you can see. It will not lock. And you can disengage the latch by rotating this wheel up and then as you shut the door it locks in the normal way. That's the latch. This is a view of the striking plate that the lock engages into, which is secured by two screws here and a further screw here. We're looking at a lock here in a chrome finish, a polished chrome. Again, polished chrome, it's a high luster. The lock is also available in a polished brass finish. On this door, we also installed two heavy duty mortise locks, which are using the Euro profile cylinder, and we keyed them alike using this same key that operates the Ingersoll lock.